Super Ben versus Robots. Benson was like most boys of his age. He lived with his mom and dad, went to school, had friends, and did homework. But unlike most boys, he was also the superhero and savior of Sconeville City, Super Ben. Some time ago, he came to own a super suit that grants the wearer superpowers. But superheroes don't have it easy. He had to outsmart the supervillain, Rasgur, who stole his suit. And then the city was invaded by an army of aliens, led by their evil leader, Tyrus. Benson rose to the challenges and saved his city. He'd become quite famous. Yes, I may be a superhero, but I still get in trouble if I don't hand in my homework on time. It's been quiet since you defeated the aliens, though, right? A little, I guess. But even if there's no crime to fight, I strive to make the city a more excellent place to live. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind picking that up and putting it in a trash can? Litter is harmful to the animals that live here, and it makes the city less beautiful. Oh, Super Ben, it's you. I'm so sorry. I'll try to put my trash in the trash cans next time. The whole city had heard of his efforts to reduce littering and pollution. One man took particular interest. If we all work together, we can make the world a better place. Ah, Super Ben. Just the sort of person I've been looking for. This is Jerry Bentley, a tech inventor and Sconeville City's richest man. In secret, he'd been working on a huge new project that had the potential to change the world. Miss Mallory, can you find out where Super Ben lives? I think this Benson kid is the one to help me unveil Project Cleanup. Yes, sir. I'll get to that right away. Benson was doing his best to catch up on his homework. Little did he know, fate would come calling once more. Huh? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jerry Ben... Oh, goodness. I know who you are. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. I'm looking to speak with Super Ben. Am I in the right place? Benson... You have a visitor. Benson was not expecting to see the famous billionaire, Jerry Bentley, in his living room. Oh, wow, Mr. Bentley. What a surprise. Ah, Benson. Or should I call you Super Ben? Ha ha ha. Benson is fine. What can I do for you, sir? Jerry explained that he had a new project he'd been working on, Project Cleanup. It was a new initiative to help clean up Sconeville City from all the litter and pollution. He needed Super Ben's help to promote it to the city. Oh, wow. That sounds fantastic. I'd love to help out. What's the project? How about I show you? Jerry took Benson to his headquarters. It was an enormous futuristic building with lots of scientists and prototype inventions. Benson was amazed. This is Project Cleanup. Behind the door was a warehouse full of robots of all shapes and sizes. This fleet of robots is powered by AI with one mission, to keep Sconville City litter and pollution free. I need you to help me convince the mayor and the people of this city to allow them to help. What do you think? I might be able to finally get some homework done. I think it's a fantastic idea, sir. I'd be happy to help. So with Benson's help, Jerry Bentley introduced Sconeville City to his fleet of eco-friendly robots. Some picked up litter. Others cleaned the water in the lake. Some sucked up dirty air and removed all the polluting particles. While others recycled old litter into new objects. The city and the mayor loved Jerry Bentley's new inventions and allowed them to stay. Benson finally had some time to focus on his homework. 
Unfortunately, it didn't last. Reports are flooding in of Jerry Bentley's EcoBots creating havoc. We go live to the center of Sconeville City. Benson, come look, quickly. Yes, that's right, Karen. The robots are arresting anyone who litters and locking them up in recycled plastic cages. No comment yet from Jerry Bentley or Super Ben. Oh no, I have to do something. The robots had realized that it wasn't litter or pollution that made the city unclean. It was human beings. Only by locking them up could they achieve their goal of keeping the city clean. Homework would have to wait. Benson put on a suit and flew to the center of the city where the robots had taken over. It now looks like the robots have decided to start locking up any humans at all. No one is say. Benson had to think quickly. Ugh, there are just so many of them. Super suit, activate laser beams. But the robots were built with lasers. It had no effect on them at all. Uh-oh, that's not going to work. Super suit, slime bomb. But the slime bomb didn't work either. The robots just cleaned up all the slime and carried on. Okay, what about super suit, shockwave? The shockwave was more effective, but any that were damaged were fixed up by other robots. Oh no, this isn't working. Superben, Super save us. us! Go quickly! But even freeing civilians didn't work. More robots were pouring into the city, so they were captured straight away. I need help. Maybe Jerry Bentley will know what to do. So Superben flew as fast as he could to Jerry's headquarters. As he flew, he noticed more and more robots filling the streets. They were all coming from the direction of Bentley's compound. Huh? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yes, go. Take the city. Soon all will be clean with no humans to ruin it. Oh no, it looks like this was Jerry's plan all along and I helped him achieve it. Super Ben flew down to confront Jerry. If he was going to save the city, he was going to have to stop Jerry Bentley. Jerry, stop this. This isn't cleaning up the city. It's taking over. Ah, Super Ben. So naive. Taking over is the only way to clean up the city. Humans are such thoughtless creatures. They litter and pollute without thinking of the consequences. Now they will understand. Humans are the problem. I'm sorry, Mr. Bentley. I can't let you do this. Just try and stop me. Super suit, freeze ray! The super suit shot out a pair of icy blasts that froze Bentley's feet to the ground. Ah! Robots, save me! The robots saw Bentley stuck to the ground, but they left him right where he was. Robots, no! It looks like your robots don't even want to save you, Jerry. They only care about one thing. We have to stop them. You'll never get to the AI mainframe. My security is too good. AI mainframe, eh? Super suit, stealth mode. Now invisible, Benson could enter Jerry's headquarters without being detected by the security system. He searched everywhere for the AI mainframe. It was so difficult flying and avoiding all the robots. He'd almost given up when he spotted an employee hiding under her desk. Hello, it's me, Super Ben. You can't see me because I'm invisible, but I can help you. Do you know where the AI mainframe is? Oh, Super Ben, I'm so glad you're here. Yes, I know where it is, but how will we get through all these robots? Don't worry, I have an idea. Super Suit, in stealth mode. Activate Trash Cannon. Ms. Mallory, Jerry's personal assistant, led Benson through the halls of the building, shooting trash as he went to keep them distracted. I think it's working! Before long, they arrived at the AI mainframe at the center of the compound. What now? I think if we change the primary directive, we can get this to stop. Okay, well I'll keep the robots distracted with all this trash. You change the directive. What should we change it to? It will need to be something that ends this chaos, but doesn't create any more problems. Can you think of anything? 
What about just return to Jerry Bentley headquarters and self-destruct? Good thinking! Suddenly, the robot stopped cleaning up all the garbage and exploded. All over the city, all of the robots began to return to the Jerry Bentley headquarters and left the citizens of Sconeville City alone. Slowly, the police officers managed to free everyone who had been imprisoned by the robots. And they managed to arrest Jerry Bentley. No! The rest of the robots returned to their original home and self-destructed. You're coming with us! <sighs> huh? Once again, Super Ben had saved the city. Super Ben, Super Ben, what's next for your Clean Streets initiative? Look, Jerry Bentley thought that humans are what keep these streets from being clean. But what he didn't realize is that we can do better. We will have clean streets, and it will be us humans who clean them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot of homework to catch up on. Sure enough, all the superhero work had kept him away for long enough. Benson worked hard that night. It would be quiet for a time, but he knew one day, Sconeville City would need him again. He just hoped that he'd be on top of his homework by then. <laughs>